I will mainly discuss during this conference uh, about angiogenesis inhibition in lung cancer across treatment lines. And um, as you know, for the best way for a tumor to get new vessels is to activate the VHF pathway. And we have several VHF inhibitors that we can use now in non-small cell lung cancer. In first line, bevacizumab is the only approved drug for non-squamous cell lung cancer. It consistently improves the response rate and the PFS for the patients treated with a platinum-based chemo, so in combination with chemo, but uh, uh, its impact on overall survival remains uh, rather low with uh, approximately a 10% reduction in the risk of death, which is significant but still low. Uh, in second line setting, we have uh, two uh, recent uh, in angiogenic inhibitors uh, that can be used uh, depending on uh, where you are in the world. They are first uh, ramiserumab, which has demonstrated in combination with dacetaxel a significant improvement in response rate, PFS and overall survival in both squamous and non-squamous uh, histologies uh, comparatively to dacetaxel alone. And we have also nintelanib, which is uh, another compound, uh, an oral drug, a VOGF uh, RTKI, that uh, has been uh, uh, shown to also improve the PFS and the overall survival, but only in adenocarcinoma. So we have two drugs. In one, in one hand we have an IV drug, which is a monoclonal antibody, and in the other hand we have an oral drug, which is quite different in terms of uh, clinical practice and toxicity profile. Uh, there, there, are also, there is also uh, a third study which uh, will be discussed uh, in this conference, which is the ultimate study. It is a French study assessing the role of weekly paclitaxel and bevacizumab in second line setting comparatively with dacetaxel. And it also shows a very uh, large increase in the response rate in the PFS. It is a well tolerated uh, regimen uh, which is clearly uh, useful in second line setting. For, especially for frail patients. So uh, angiogenesis, in angiogenesis inhibition in second line uh, is difficult to, to position uh, when you uh, look at uh, uh, the IO's uh, uh, tidal wave which is coming now because uh, a lot of uh, physicians want to give immunotherapy to their patients but we must not forget that for the patient with aggressive disease and a low level of pd one expression, there is a very high risk of disease progression with uh, nivolumab, uh, for example. And uh, therefore, for this patient, giving chemo plus an antiangiogenic agent is probably a safer way to treat uh, these patients because of a lower risk of uh, disease progression.